What's going on everyone? It's Simon and today we're taking a couple minutes to talk about how to protect all of your precious camera gear. So let's kick this off talking basics. So what insurances are you gonna need when it comes to being a production company? And there's really two main ones that I've found between myself and talking to friends in the industry. And that's you're gonna want an inland marine policy which protects your stuff, the camera gear, the laptops, all of those kinds of things. And then you're gonna want a business liability policy which protects your financial interest in a company. So that way, if someone sues you, uh, stuff like that, it keeps you protected. I have both my policies bundled together through the Hartford, although I do have friends that use the Hanover and Athos and have said really good things about those companies. It's just the Hartford's who I've used since 2013 when I started the company and I haven't had any issues so I just haven't changed it quite frankly. And what those policies look like is my business liability has $2 million liability coverage, uh, travel the whole nine yards so that way like if I get in trip interruption and stuff like that all of that's bundled like I previously said uh, then when it comes to my inland marine policy I have all of my equipment covered and the way that that looked when I first started was I made this big PDF of all the equipment serial numbers and what the repurchase price would be and sent that off to them and that was how we came up with what the insurance was gonna cost However, since then, all of that's changed, which is why we're here today, because I'm actually working on updating my policy and making sure that everything's organized because my equipment list with the insurance company has gotten kind of convoluted and crazy. Uh, one of the other things that's extremely important, especially if you're renting a lot of gear, is to make sure that you have a rental coverage amount built into your policy. So taking myself, for example, I have about thirty dollars to $40,000 worth of equipment coverage, and then I have another fifteen dollars built in in rental, which gives me about $45,000, $50,000 worth of equipment coverage, whether it's my own or whether I'm renting it from a rental house or if I'm borrowing it from Sony like I have on some projects. And so that way, no matter what I'm carrying, I'm covered. And with that, you also want to know who you can call if you have a temporary, like you need to bump it up. So a perfect example is, let's say I'm borrowing a whole bunch of gear for a shoot and it goes above my rental. Well, who can I call and say, hey, I've got this shoot coming up for one day. I need the, the rental coverage to bump up another five or $6,000. Boom, have that easily available. So that way you have a relationship. Um, I've spoken many a times on how important relationship is. Knowing your insurance person is huge, so that way you are able to get things done in a timely fashion, so it just lets you work. With all that being said, it's, be, it's pretty obvious that insurance is something that tailors specifically to a person. Whether you're a hobbyist that just wants to get your equipment off of your homeowner's or renter's policy and only needs an inland marine policy, or if you're a business owner that doesn't necessarily have as much equipment but is doing a lot of higher end work that you need to have a much bigger, beefier, uh, business liability policy versus a smaller inland marine or you have a very intensive uh, production company where you have a lot of equipment or you're a rental house that has a whole different set of needs that you may not necessarily need as much liability talk to an insurance company they'd be glad to give you a quote I myself use Hill and Usher to get my policy through the Hartford uh, but there's tons of them out there Hill and Usher is just one that works specifically in the photo and video industry and they were great to work with when I got myself going and whenever I've had to make changes. And that's where one of the things like what I'm doing right now, which is updating my equipment list so that I know that it's organized and easy, uh, just makes it so that you know all of your equipment and all of your stuff is covered. That way you can go out on production and have to worry about one less thing. That's all I got for this video. If you have any questions about insurance, leave a comment down below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell button so you get notified every time we upload an awesome video. Have a great week. I'll see you guys next time.